Building structures to withstand an earthquake is no easy task, and the materials used in structures can be a matter of life and death. I'm Adrian Brueger. I'm a civil engineer here at the Carlton Laboratory at Columbia University in the city of New York. So what we're going to do today is we're going to test the difference between concrete structures with and without reinforcement and what that does to their performance in an earthquake. Right now, what we're testing here is a small concrete block. It's kind of very representative of what you would use for medium-sized buildings. We're going to apply load to the concrete block by pushing on it from the top until it fails. So we're starting the loading right now at approximately 2,000 pounds per second, 20,000 pounds, 80,000, so that's a 40-ton truck, a fully loaded 18-wheeler balancing on just one little block. So the question is, when will it break? It's unclear just by looking at the block. We have really no indication. 280,000 pounds, 320,000 pounds. There it is. And that's the weakness of concrete. Even though it can sustain these incredible loads, still, when it fails, it does so in a catastrophic fashion. Now what we can do is we can use other building materials like steel, which provides us with a lot of warning before it fails. So we are loading the steel right now. It's going at about 200 pounds a second. So you can actually see the piston coming up in the machine, pulling this rebar, making it longer and longer. We were actually already one and a quarter inches longer. If this was embedded in concrete, you would see the concrete cracking. So that would be a warning in a real building. It's still expanding and uh, getting longer, so it's now at 3.5 inches. Right. So it broke, but it broke, giving us an incredible amount of warning. Pairing that with the concrete, which is extremely good in compression, that is when we get the strength of both materials so that we have that warning and we can also possibly repair the structure, service the structure before it collapses.